Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where today I went through the drive through at Taco Bell and holy smokers they got two new products, Steakhouse Burrito and Steakhouse Nachos and I got the Steakhouse Burrito and I want to stop and give a belated shout out to Joe Perry. Is he still in Run DMC, Bob? So here's how the Steakhouse Burrito comes in this flat box. I'm open the box. And you can see we got the sauce that I asked for, Diablo sauce. We got some utensils here. Got napkins, of course. Here's the, I guess, the queso for the chips that come with it. Here are the chips. And here's the steakhouse burrito itself. And here it is with the lid off, or close up on the dip. See the spice there in the top? So here's the Steakhouse Burrito. It's definitely got a good heft to it. It's strangely in this sort of cheap wax paper instead of a standard. Uh, I always like when they have a special wrapper. It sort of adds something to it. Get this out here. Flatten that out. And what this has is, of course, the marinated steak, the what they call uh, potato bites, bacon, sour cream, and their new queso with spices in it. Now, right now, the only aroma is of this tortilla. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, right there in the end is the uh, potato bite in the first bite. Also getting some of that spicy queso. When I started this off, it was kind of dry at the beginning. Once I start getting towards the center, there's a surprising amount of juice from the steak in here that combines together with the queso. Now let's try the uh, also the nachos. Speaking of the queso, we have this decent sized cup here. Let's get a good amount on this chip. I like that flavor. Seems to be about a four or five on the Robert Dyer heat scale. I'm going to go ahead and dip this into the queso. As Rick Perry said, why not? How dare you come in here and disturb me? How did you get past the librarian? What am I paying her for? Come in here and interrupt me when I'm trying to look for some good Catholic stocking stuffers. Bob, I've got third row seats for the Vince Neal performance at the inauguration. That's close enough to catch a guitar pick 
and far enough not to catch Hep C. Gotta go, Bob. Security just caught Kip Winger panhandling the lobby again. There is a decent amount of steak in here. It's supposed to be a double portion. I guess it was pretty close to that. Steak is, is, some of the pieces are a little more rubbery than I'm used to from Taco Bell, so I think they could improve the tenderness of it. Uh, there was a decent amount of bacon flavor. It wasn't that strong. The potato bites go very well with the meat and the queso sauce. I feel like there's still something missing here. Either perhaps mushrooms being added in or maybe licensing an A1 steak sauce that maybe could make the filling a give it a little extra something but overall it did it was pretty close to a steakhouse flavor I just think a mushroom or a1 sauce would have made it really fit the brand name now for the price $5.99 I think maybe if this had been $4.99 that would have been a really good price it's maybe a little overpriced terms of the size and then of course the Montgomery County Council is trying to bring the Grinch in early this year with a 72 cents tax they took for themselves ridiculous as usual but overall I'm gonna say this is still worth picking up you can always do what I did go nuts and dip it into this sauce you get the chips which now that I think about probably explains why it's a dollar more than it should be bonus side item there but I, I've had a uh, chewy steak burrito recently after they open here and it's certainly more expensive than this but the steak was even better than Taco Bell so I think they could look into what they're doing in terms of tender steak and uh, they have a Dr. Pepper marinade I think but for the Taco Bell price point, I think this is still a good value. I'm going to go ahead and give this four stars. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.